Hi everyone, in today's video, I figured that I would go over the crafting in Super People. I noticed a lot of people coming into my streams during the final beta and they were having a little bit of a hard time understanding the crafting. It can be a bit overwhelming at first to understand, but I'm hoping by the end of this video that all clears up. Crafting in Super People helps improve the rarity of your equipment throughout the game. You can use different materials found around the map to upgrade your helmet, your body armor, backpack, and weapons. The reason why I love this feature so much is that it seems to take a lot of the RNG out that most BRs have. By the end of the match, if you play it right, everyone should have around the same level of equipment so that it's more of an even fight based on skill. Now, as you're looting, there will be materials to pick up around the map. These range from white, green, blue, and purple in order of rarity. If you do need a material, there will be a column of a gold glow that basically comes up from the material on the ground as you're looting so you know if you need to take it. Now, when you're in your inventory, you can actually see what materials you're holding and what things you no longer need. If there's a red symbol crossing out a material, it means that you no longer need it in your inventory. It's basically useless. So you might as well quickly right click it and just drop it to make a room for other materials that you need. Now, if there's a green check mark next to it, it does mean that you need it either currently or later on down the line to improve the level of your equipment. By going into your inventory, you can actually click on the blueprint symbol next to your equipment and bring up the crafting tree. This tree shows you exactly what materials are needed to upgrade each level of equipment. Something that a lot of people don't know is you can click on any individual material that you want to search for and the game automatically finds the nearest one. You can see in this clip that that's what I'm utilizing. I only have a level one helmet, so definitely need to be upgrading that. I click on the blueprint to bring up the crafting tree. From there, I click on the dyed cloth so that the game automatically finds the closest one to me. Sometimes though, the closest one to you isn't super ideal to get to though, so you can always keep going and the game will find you another one. It's super useful to have the game looking for materials as you rotate. So you always want to be keeping an eye out for what things you need in order to upgrade your equipment. You also can always ask a teammate for certain materials too, since they can drop them from your inventory if they don't need them and you need them. I mean, it's basically wasted space in your friend's inventory. So there may be also times where you have to choose between two different things that you want to upgrade, whether that's two different guns. If you want to make two different types of materials, you need to make sure that you are choosing wisely on how you want to utilize your materials. There may be times where one material can craft multiple things. Like in this clip, whenever I have armor plates and reinforced fibers, Armor plates would obviously go towards my body armor and then reinforced fibers would go to upgrading my gun. So a lot of this is just personal preference, however you want to utilize your materials, whatever you prioritize, whether that's armor, upgrading your gun, upgrading your backpack, all of that, you will have to pick and choose. One last thing to note is on the right side of the crafting tree, you'll see that in order to get your level four up to a level five, you will need to either find that specific purple rarity material or you can craft it. That does take a little bit more time. And as you go, you'll be able to craft those things up. A lot of the guns require you to combine a lot of things for shell casings, ammo, large caliber ammo, in order to fully upgrade your weapons. So be sure to pay attention to the crafting tree and know what things you can combine and when you want to combine them. If you're wanting to upgrade your weapons a lot, you'll definitely be wanting to look out for those things such as shell casings, ammo, large caliber ammo, reinforced fibers, things like that. Overall though, the more that you play, the more you will be able to figure out what materials you need and what things you don't. But I really do hope this clears up a lot of confusion that you guys may have. If you have any specific questions, you can definitely ask them in the comments and I'll do my best to respond whenever I can. If this video did help you out in any way, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe for more super people tips and tricks. I will be having a top 10 tips for new super people players coming out very, very soon. Hopefully before the game fully releases on the 11th. Happy hunting.